So over here, you can see that I have a blank file. And if you want to start creating tables and then set data types, then you can easily do so by going on to the create tab on the top. So once you go on to the create tab, what you can start with is by creating a table. There are different types of options over here, but what we're going to focus on is creating a table right here. So I'm creating a blank table. So just click on this and what happens is that table is inserted and you can see it from the left side right here. So over here, you can see that an ID is assigned for this table. ID is the primary key that is assigned to the database that you made. So this is a numerical value that is automatically generated. So I'm just going to go around right here and on the top, on the title, I can go around and type in whatever I want. So I'm just going to be specific and let's say I'm going to create a collection of the courses I have on my YouTube channel. So I'm going to type in course ID. So just like this, uh, you can type in your uh, titles as well. And whenever you're working with databases on the titles, it is suggested not to use any space uh, or special characters because it'll really uh, mess things up further down the road. So I'm just going to go around right here, ca capitalize it right here. So now what I'm going to do is I can choose data types right here. So it says click here to add. So if I were to click over here, you can see that there's different options that I can enable. So I can go around and let's say I want to go around and bring in a short text right here. So if I were to bring in a short text, let's say this is going to be course uh, level right here. So let's say I'm going to go around over here on the beginning and I want to add in another data type as well. So you can also go around onto the fields option right here. And from here, you can select out the data type as well. You can go to more fields and you can see that there's a lot of different data types that you can actually add in. So I'm just going to go around over here and then let's say this is going to be a long text right here. So this is the long text data type. So I'm just going to go around and type in course name right here. So this is the course level or I want to rename this. So let's just go around right here. Instead of level, I'm going to say difficulty right here. So just like this, I'm going to go around right here and I'm going to add in a yes, no field over here as well. And this is going to be a uh, completed status right here. So just like this, I'm going to add this out. So this is what I have, as you can see, and I got course ID and everything. So if I want to add in numerical values right here, then you can go around to numbers or last number if you have a lot of number. And you can also go around right here, add in date. So I'm just going to go around, uh, add in a date value, and this is going to be completion date right here. So without space right here completion date. So there you go. I got all the fields right here, as you can see, and there's the date I can choose and so forth. So now I can start typing in my data. So course name, let's say is going to be MS Excel right here. And you can go around, press tab to go around on to the next, uh, uh, next tab right here. I'm going to say this is going to be a medium right here, completion status. Maybe this is not completed. So I'm just going to leave this as it is. So then another one will be MS Word right here. This is going to be easy and this is completed. And maybe I want to add in a date over here for that, that one on when I completed it. So I'm just going to go around right here, select out date. And over here, I'm going to say MS PowerPoint right here. So I'm just going to go around, say PowerPoint, uh, just like this. And, and this is going to be easy. And this is completed. And let's say I selected this out right here. And then I'm going to say MS Publisher right here. And this is going to be medium right here. Let's say I completed this as well. Select out a date right here. And then let's say I'm going to add an MS Access over here as well. This is going to be hard. And I'm going to say this is completed again. And this is going to be uh, later down. So I'm just going to go around right here, select out the date, or you can also type in the date if you want to. And now you can see that the primary keys that is one, two, three, four, five has been automatically generated while other data I can add it in. And then according to the data type that we selected out, you can see that the data type is here. You can also go around right here and here you can see that you can add in attachments. You can add in hyperlinks. There's calculated fields for calculations as well and there's a lot of options right here. So we're going to take a look at all of these in upcoming lessons as well. And that is how you can create a table um, in your database file inside of Microsoft Access and then set data types and add in your data in your table. So I hope you guys learned something as always. 
And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.